Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God a praise. Let God be glorified forever in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. This is God's soon channel with Evangelist Sarah. You're welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please, family, like this video. Share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you. As you do that, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory to our Father. God is saying to you, child of God, you are making progress. You are making progress. You are making progress because you serve the God that do great things. This is to tell somebody who feel like, oh, your life is stuck. Mm -mm. God is saying to you that your life is not stuck, that you have made progress. Yes, you might not be where you want to be, but you are not where you used to be. That place where you don't even know what to say or what to do anymore, God has given you wisdom. That is progress. God has given you knowledge. That is progress. God has given you peace even in the midst of storm. That is progress. Your ability to hold on when things are even difficult, that is progress because many people quit at that same type of that same type of situation that you that you find yourself and you are still holding on. Many find found themselves in that situation. They quit. But you did not quit and you will not quit. Hallelujah. That is progress. Because if it were to be by your power or on, on ordinary ground, you wouldn't have even quit on the first day of the problem, the second day, the third day. But you had the ability of holding on. It is progress. Child of God, you are, you are making progress in life. You are making progress in life because God expects us to bear fruit. Spiritual fruit, physical fruit. What matter is that just breath, bear fruit. Even the ability to persevere is fruit because many people quit without perseverance. Many people did not even wait to hear what the story is going to look like before they gave up. The same situation that you persevere on, the same thing that you have encountered, the same challenges that you have overcome have made a lot of people to hang themselves. But here you are still believing God for a brighter day. And God is saying that that brighter day will come. You will have that brighter day. Child of God, heaven is clapping for you. Even if people might not be celebrating you, to them, they might be thinking, they might be saying, oh, what, what is there to celebrate? Uh, you have been persevering, you have been holding on for five years. What is there to celebrate? Celebrate yourself because you are doing well. The same people would have also said, ah, why did she not hold on a little? Why did she have to kill herself if you have to kill yourself? The same people would be that, ah, why did he have to kill himself? Is he the only person on this earth? What is wrong with himself? You know, but you persevered. Now that you persevered, they look at you, they're like, what is there to celebrate? Celebrate yourself because sometimes you have to be your number one old cheerleader. Yes, be your own share leader. Don't, for, don't wait for somebody to come and cheer you and say, ah, you are doing well. No, cheer yourself on. Cheer yourself on. People do some certain things. You can see that they are enjoying it. But when it comes to some person's case, they do the same things. They find themselves struggling. When you find yourself in such situation, the ability for you to hold on and believe God, that God can still make a way for you, when there seems to be no way. That makes you a winner. That makes you a winner. Hallelujah. The thing that used to trouble you, no longer trouble you. Celebrate yourself because you are growing. Yes, you are growing, I must tell you. And heaven is rejoicing over you. Heaven is clapping for you. Heaven is celebrating with you. Don't allow the evil doer, those that have evil hearts, to break you. And start thinking, oh, look at it's been five years now. There is nothing to show. There is something to show. 
Because your courage is beautiful. Your faith is beautiful. Even that your endurance is beautiful. It is not everyone that have, that have patience. That patience that you have, it is a beautiful thing. Child of God, I need you to know that you have made progress in life. That heaven is clapping for you. It does not matter who refused to clap, but heaven is clapping for you. That is what matters. And we are celebrating you as well. The Lord bless you. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remember your sister, Evangelist Sarah, by the grace of God. I will see you again. Bye-bye.